Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Kirby Gatto. I am walking in a new area where I feel a gazillion safe. I'm actually in a parking lot right now, so I hope that it's all right to be over here. I see someone else walking, so I guess it's all right to be over here. But good morning. We're gonna have an awesome day with Walking with Wisdom. And oh my goodness, if you did not watch yesterday's broadcast, you deserve success. Watch it. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. You know, that's like my word lately. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. That's all I want to say is phenomenal. Just say it. It feels good. Phenomenal. And I like saying all the syllables, really emphasizing all the syllables. Phenomenal. Okay. Well, today, it is going to be more phenomenal, and I'll be building on yesterday's broadcast, okay? So yesterday's broadcast was, you deserve success. You deserve success. There's this crazy mentality, crazy, crazy mentality among believers that we have to be our own martyr. We are the biggest martyrs, and it's the martyrdom syndrome. And that martyrdom syndrome keeps you out of your destiny. It puts boards over you. It puts ceilings over you and you can't get to the next level of your destiny. Many are called, but few are chosen. And you have to be enduring, patient, persistent, and insistent and going into your destiny. It is not going to be handed to you on a silver platter. That is why God says many are called and few are chosen, okay? Not many were willing to do what is necessary, especially, and it cannot be emphasized, hey Donna, especially in the smallest of details. And I want to get into that again. I'll really get into that in chapter six with entropy. Oh my goodness, so absolutely amazing. As it relates to overcoming the smallest things. Hey Deborah Faulkner, I see you, I love you. Smallest things, hey Tammy, in your life, being obedient in the smallest things. Listen, if you can't be obedient in the smallest things, how do you expect to move to the next level of your destiny if you can't be in the order of God at this level, how can you expect to be promoted? Because promotion comes from the Lord. One of the things that really abrate, agitates me, I'm trying to find the appropriate word. One of the things that really agitates me is seeing ministers promote themselves where they want for somebody to organize a conference for them. And I'm talking about not as part of their own ministry, but I'm talking about just calling people and asking them to organize a conference. And they're really promoting themselves and they're outside of their gift. For example, I know a worship leader who recently did this and this worship leader needs to sit aside because they have unclean spirits in them first and foremost, okay? And I know this person and they wanted to organize a conference and I'm trying to be discreet and prudent, circumspect. They wanted to organize a conference and in the conference, they said they wanted to preach and prophesy. Uh, this person knows me well, okay? And I'll, I'm just gonna leave it at that. And they're promoting themselves. They're promoting themselves and they're outside of their gift and they've got unclean spirits and they're eating up with unclean spirits and they're out of the will of the Father in every way and they're celebrating themselves, okay? And that's what we're gonna get to today is celebrate because the emphasis is when you're in expectation when you're prepared, when you know your purpose, 
and you don't fear success, you accept it, then you can celebrate every day. Celebrate every day, okay? And this is why some people don't wake up celebrating. Of course, first and foremost, we're to celebrate our salvation in Christ Jesus. That is a celebration that we are eternal in consecration, dedication, sealed by Holy Spirit for the day of redemption to spend eternity with God. Amen. And for also pray for your lost loved ones and lost people in general. And so, and I'm walking slow because I'm still recovering and I've, a doctor has ordered me a special peptide to help <clears throat> to help accelerate my wound healing. You know, y'all should check out peptides, just FYI. I'm just gonna do this as a side note. You should check out peptides. They're the safest agent of delivering health to your body for all different kinds of things. There's a gazillion different peptides. Most of them hardly have any side effects and they're the safest things and of course, they're not made by medical companies, pharmaceuticals, and so they're not promoted heavily. But Viking Alternative, I'll put a plug in for Viking Alternative. <clears throat> I've been going there over a year, Rich and I have. And you know, they are pretty much our doctors. I still have two doctors, my regular doctor, a gastro, and I have my anti-aging clinic doctor who is really big on peptides and I've done a lot of research over the last six years on peptides so FYI I'm walking slow and I'm getting my peptides next week so my bone bruise will heal faster so I'm walking a little bit slower so let's get back to celebrating every day when you have expectation and you're prepared and you have purpose guess what you can celebrate, celebrate. You wake up with a song in your heart, <clears throat> with a pep in your step, okay? <clears throat> and I think about the analogy that I'm gonna use today for celebrate, and it actually comes from the word, Latin word celebrar, and it means to honor. It means to honor. Now, if you had that mindset that every day, you are gonna honor the day as unto the Lord, that you are gonna serve your best. Like when I get on these Facebook Lives Walking With Wisdom, first of all, God told me to do these videos, okay? God tells me to do anything. I do nothing except for what the Father tells me to do. God tells me to write books, okay? It's not like I go, woo, I get to do this. And you're gonna know it more and more with this new book, Mindfulness, The Mind of Christ. And I told people for years, for, for years, for about a decade, I told people I feel like God's Barbie doll, and I don't mean to use that lightly or profanely. It's the only analogy I can give you, and it's like, when I was a little girl, I think I had a few Barbie dolls, not a whole lot. I was a tomboy, so I was out, always out in the woods climbing trees and going through the trails, riding go-karts, motorcycles, four-wheelers, and all that stuff. But I did have a few Barbie dolls. And so when I had my Barbie doll, my Barbie doll doesn't move by itself. I move my Barbie doll and I take it over here and I take my Barbie doll over here. And that's what I've told people for years. I feel like God's Barbie doll is the only analogy I can tell you. And it's like God says, Robin, go to the Philippines. And he takes me to the Philippines. I'm like, glory to God. Robin, go to this state, go to this state. Robin, do this, Robin, do that. <clears throat> and it's as though, <laughs> I am just his Barbie doll. And even though I do have a say in it, the only way I can tell you is that I get to be along for the ride, okay? I get to be along for the ride. And I get to see the wondrous awesomeness of my God, who is absolutely amazing who first of all saved me, and if that's not enough, he delivered me of many oppressions. 
and I've only talked about really two, only lightly. If I went and talked about another one, people would be saying, I don't know if I'm gonna be Robin's friend anymore. She is a freakazoid. <laughs> so I'm very circumspect on what I share because a lot of people just cannot handle that level of the supernatural and not many people have heard of it and the people that I have told, <clears throat> they told me it was demons. So I guard my pearls, <laughs> amen. But my point is, is when you've been saved and and delivered you get the privilege and honor of each day of living each day and serving the lord for your purpose and when you do that nothing can go wrong all of hell will come against you oh it will but this is the thing you will have a standing grace of having done all, all having been suited, suited in the armor of God, having done all, you stand your ground and you know who you're honoring every day. You're not honoring yourself because you're not doing it for yourself. You have to get this in your knower. I've told people this for decade uh, but maybe about 15 years when you don't want to do what god's called you to you get to do it what do i mean because you have been so utterly broken you know that only by the grace of god go i and there is nothing good in you except christ jesus alone Initially, when God called me to be a minister before I was a minister, I was like, Woo, yes, I want to do it. And then, when He actually called me into full time ministry, I was like, God, I don't want to do it. Just like Moses, it took Moses 40 years to get rid of celebrating Moses, celebrating himself, honoring himself. And when he got so broken, that the only one he would celebrate was God alone. That's when God promoted him. Do you hear this? Because again, just like that minister that I mentioned earlier, that's trying to put on their own conference and get other people to help them. And I tell people, do not help them. First of all, you're not called to help them. You don't have the grace. You don't have the time. That season's over for you for over 11 years. Don't do it. They're promoting themselves. Promotion only comes from the Lord. That person is celebrating themselves. And I see this in so many ministers, so many people who step outside of God's timing, even in other areas of profession. <clears throat> They're not willing to do the small acts of obedience. And that listen, if it took 14 years, we're looking at David, we're looking at Joseph. If it took years for them to get rid of celebrating themselves, any ounce before their promotion, guess what? It's going to take you years, years. All these young people, they're zealous and I love it, but they're not willing to put in the work. They're not willing to be faithful and be obedient and they want something now. And if it's not now, they're going to gratify the flesh and they're going to do something else other than crucify the flesh. And they're going to do different jobs, different functions in life that is easy. <laughs> Let me tell you what, if it is easy, it isn't God because <laughs> you don't need God for easy, okay? And all these people that want to go in ministry, I have so many that tell me they wanna go in full-time ministry and they're not even ministering. Listen, before I went into full-time ministry, I was ministering 20 hours a week and working 40 hours a week and a taxi driver for our entire family 25 hours a week. Every day I woke up and I celebrated God. I celebrated the call that he called me into. 
I knew my purpose. And see, this is what you've got to get into your knower. And when you get it into your knower, you'll go to a whole different other level and you'll appreciate what God has called you to. And you'll understand something so magnificent that only God himself can get you there. Very few enter this path. Very few go this way because they're not willing to be faithful in the little. He that is faithful with a little will be made ruler over much. I've had some young people tell me in the Birmingham metro area, they said, Robin, you are the busiest minister. And this is back years ago, okay? Like, if I was busy then, multiply it times two today, and that's today. And they said, Robin, you are the busiest minister we know in Birmingham. And they went to a lot of different ministries and I said, you know what? You gotta be faithful with a little. And when you're faithful with a little, God will make you ruler over much. And I said, this is the thing. And some of y'all have heard me say it for many, many years. I said, this is the thing. God gives us talents. And a lot of people almost mock me and taunt me saying, oh, Robin, you're doing so much. You're doing so much. And they do it in a negative way. And it's because they're jealous because they're not faithful with a little. So God has not given them more talents. And this is what's happened, saints because I'm faithful with a little, and I do only what God has called me to do. He's giving me more talents. Do you hear this? So I look at those people that complain to me and say, Robin, you're just doing too much. I say, well, why don't you do what God's called you to do? And then he wouldn't have to give it to me to do because I'm being faithful in the little. And this is what you've got to get in your knower saints. Who are you celebrating every day? You're celebrating. You're celebrating either the negative or yourself. And even if you're negative about yourself, you're still celebrating yourself. It's all about you. But if every day that you wake up, you're celebrating God, then guess what? You have done what he has called you to do. Do you hear that, saints of God? So expect prepare, have purpose, and celebrate. God bless you. I love you.